Rick, what's the difference between APIs and webhooks? Aren't they both just sending data? Oh, sure, Morty. If you want to describe them like a caveman, they both move data, but how and who starts it is the whole damn difference. So how does an API work? With an API, you're the needy one. You have to send a request to get something like, hey, server, got anything new? It's like checking your fridge every five minutes hoping pizza appears. That's called polling, and it's dumb but reliable. What about a webhook? That's when the server calls you, Morty. You give it a URL and say, yo, hit me up if anything happens. So when something changes, like a new user signs up or someone pays, it sends you a payload automatically. No begging required. So API is when I ask and webhook is when it tells me? Exactly. API is pull, webhook is push. APIs are like texting someone, are we still friends? Every hour. Webhooks are them texting you back the second something happens, like when someone buys your product. Why not always use webhooks then? Because webhooks need a public URL, a running server, and reliability. If your server's down, you miss the call. APIs are on demand, so you ask when it's convenient or when your code isn't a hot mess. Do they work together? Absolutely. Most apps use both. Webhooks for real-time updates, APIs for pulling full data or syncing things. Think of webhooks as event alerts and APIs as the manual info desk. So it's not one versus the other? No, Morty. It's not a battle. It's two tools for different jobs. One rings your doorbell, and the other waits for you to knock. And before you swipe, leave a like and a follow, or I'm going to send you to another dimension.